guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Amber. If you are new here and you've never watched any of my videos, I do natural hair care videos, clothing videos, I've done a vlog. I just do little sprinkles of everything. So if you like any of those things or you want to see my sprinkles, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Okay. So what we're going to be talking about today is this is going to be part two of my nat chat. So last week I posted a video or this week I posted a video about how to create a simple basic hair care routine and I didn't mention products whatsoever. I wanted to keep it really simple just in case you have products in your stash or whatever you have that you want to keep using but you're just kind of using things all over the place. We're going to talk about how to clean up our routines and make sure our uh, routines are really simple. So the model for our natural routines is going to be KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. I feel like a lot of the times we're using this, 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 and we really can't see the benefits of what we're using because we're not using it long enough for the product to really show us benefits. So we're going to be following the same routine that I talked about in the previous video. I'll link it in the cards. If you have not watched it, go ahead and watch it. And then we'll be talking about um, the products today that I actually use in my hair care routine. Now, my hair care routine doesn't change. I follow the same steps, but I do supplement products. But I try to use all of my product up before I go and get a new product. Let's start off with shampoo. So my favorite shampoo, and then I always buy all the time, it is the Shea Moisture, um, what's it called? Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. So this shampoo is super moisturizing. Um, it doesn't leave my hair feeling stripped. It leaves my hair feeling clean. Um, and this is a Shea Moisture product that you can pretty much find anywhere. So, I mean, they sell this in Dollar General. Even if they don't have a huge spread of Shea Moisture products, they typically always have this one. So that's why I like this one because it's, in the OG of Shea Moisture products, and it does exactly what it says. It hydrates, it smooths, and it helps control frizz. So this is a really good shampoo that I love, and it's very moisturizing, um, especially when you're doing the type of wash day that I do. So three of my shampoos in my wash week or wash month are moisturizing ones, and the other ones are gonna be clarifying ones. So super moisturizing. I think it's only like five bucks, so it's very affordable. Another product that I love when it comes to shampoo is the clarifying one. And this is the one that I've been using for a while now because the bottle is so freaking big. But it is the Giovanni 50-50 Balance. This is supposed to be a hydrating clarifying shampoo. Um, because I have low porosity hair, I like to make sure that I, at least once a month, clarify my hair to strip it of all of product buildup, if I have any. Um, just to reset my hair to make sure my hair is not being weighed down and it's getting all the nutrients that it needs from, or all the moisture that it needs from my deep conditioner. There's no point in deep conditioning your hair if your hair and your scalp are clogged up with old product. It's just gonna build on top of each other and just form layers. So this is a good way to strip your hair and make sure your hair is ready to receive and kind of reset it for the next month of styling and maintenance. The next one is kind of, you can use it as a cleanser or you can put it in the category as kind of like a treatment, but I like to use it as a cleanser because when I use it, I don't use a shampoo with it because it is very stripping and it's also considered to be clarifying and that's going to be bentonite clay. So whenever you use bentonite clay, um, I don't wash my hair before I use bentonite clay. I just make sure that my hair is um, detangled and my hair is wet so with bentonite clay bentonite clay is very good at extracting all impurities and yuckies and muckies out of your hair and your scalp refreshing it resetting it revitalizing your hair for styling it also helps to find your curls it does so much for your hair definitely i would google it and look up bentonite clay to see what exactly it does for your hair because i can't remember verbatim what it does for your hair but it basically it just kind of resets your hair as well and it's on the lines of like a clarifying type of situation okay so those are all of the shampoos that I use when in my routine to keep it simple and I recommend all three of those products all right so next we're moving on to conditioner so if you are in a pinch you run out of conditioner and you can't find a conditioner 
but you happen to have the buddy to the shampoo, then this is the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Conditioner. Now, this is not designed to be a leave-in conditioner because it says just to leave it on your hair. Not a leave-in conditioner, sorry. It's not designed to be a deep conditioner because it says to leave it on your hair, let's see, just for three minutes and then rinse out and then style. But if I've ever been out of deep conditioner, like a product actually formulated to be a deep conditioner, I have used this before and I treat it like a deep conditioner. I just put it on my hair instead of leaving it for the three minutes. I put a cap on, like a plastic cap, I set it on the hooded dryer and I leave it on for like 10 to 15 minutes, rinse it out and it makes my hair feel like butter. And I also detangle with this in my hair with my um, detangling brush and it kind of just clumps my curls together and when I rinse my hair out, my curls are still clumped. That's why I absolutely freaking love this product. It helps to clump my curls when I use my detangling brush and when I rinse it out, my curls are still clumped. And it just kind of takes all that work out of the styling because your hair is detangled, moisturized, and clumped. And all you have to do is apply your, apply your styler and then you're done. Wonderful. The next um, deep conditioner that I would recommend is the Emerge Back to Life Hair Mask. So this product you can get at Target and I believe it's either only $7.99 or $5.99 or $9.99. It's in that five, seven, nine category. It's up in there somewhere. Um, and it's effective, it's cheap, and it does exactly what it says it's gonna do. It's a bring your um, hair back to life type of mask, and it says it's a deep conditioning uh, treatment to revive for moisture-rich, frizz-free curl definition. Now, I get better curl definition with this conditioner than I get with this conditioner. Um, and I guess it's because this is a little bit thicker, so it kind of like clumps and holds my curls better. This one, not so much but it definitely adds moisture to my hair. It makes my hair feel revitalized. It makes my hair feel a little bit stronger. So I feel like there's some protein in there. I haven't really looked at the ingredients extensively to see if there's anything in there that we would consider a protein, but um, I absolutely love this and definitely reward, recommend this product to add to your stash of hair care products. Now, the next one is a leave-in conditioner that I would recommend. Now this leave-in conditioner is by Alphagy. It is the Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner. So I picked this one up because I had previously used the Keratin Green Tea Restructurizer or Restructurer? I don't know, Restructurizer, I think. And um, that's more to like mend your hair, make sure it's strong, make sure it's, you know, got the strength, not breaking, not brittle, stuff like that. And that can be a little protein heavy for some people. And I feel like it was a little protein heavy for me. So I switched to this one because on the back it says it's um, utilizing precision levels of protein for strength, emollients for shine, and humectants for softness. So it's kind of like a balance of protein and moisture. And it's still very, I don't know if you can hear it, watery and lightweight. So it's not going to weigh my hair down. And it's not going to impede my gel from doing what my gel is supposed to do. So I like this leave-in conditioner. Do you need it? Not really. But is it something good to have in your hair? Kind of like a little treatment for your hair? Sure. And it's not expensive at all. I got this at my local hair store for $4.59. So it's not going to break the bank. And I feel like it's effective for my hair. So moving on from leave-ins. Um, I don't have my styler because I actually ran out of I actually ran out of my styler. But my styler, as of right now, is the Wetline Extreme Gel. I love the Wetline Extreme Gel because it weighs my hair down. Um, it helps get rid of the frizzies, and it's inexpensive. My Wetline Extreme Gel that I buy from the Walmart where I live is like two to three bucks for that huge honking like jar. I don't like the blue one. I don't like the green one. I only like the clear one. Is there a difference in the product? I don't know. Um, I've used the blue one and I felt like the blue one wasn't as like thick and heavy, but the clear one is definitely thicker, heavier, and it weighs down my curls. And I like that weighed down look because as the days go on after styling my hair, my hair gets bigger, it gets lighter, it gets fluffier, but I like that weighed down look because it helps my curls last longer. But the other important key product when styling your hair, it is given to you guys at the low, low price. 
a free 99 technically but not technically because you got to pay that bill anyways it's water so water is the freest cheapest ingredient that you can get to style your hair um to keep your routine simple and effective water is the goat so in my previous video i told you water is not a moisturizer and it is not it is a um hydrator so when you're doing your wash and go you want to make sure that you're doing it on soaking wet hydrated hair so you need to make sure that your hair is hydrated the more water that your hair has been hydrated with the more it's going to be weighed down the more um the more of a frizz free look you're going to get and you'll use less of your styling product therefore saving you money in the long run all right so i didn't mention this in my routine because i know a lot of people like to do finger detangling or use just their hands to style their hair i'm not them i don't like to do that i like some products i like some help so the ones that i recommend for your hair care routine if you're starting out and you can get all of these products at walmart except for these bad boys these are the clippies um i think you have to go to like the hair store you know the hair store i'm talking about everybody got a hair store or sally's beauty high store but the hair store has these so these are like little i think they're called butterfly clips i think they're called butterfly clips but why i like these butterfly clips is because i style my hair in four sections i can take a huge chunk or a big section and clip it away with this and not have to worry about the section coming out falling loose it's very secure and sturdy with these clips that's why i love these bad boys and um if i'm not mistaken you can get these clips in bulk from the hair store or amazon love those the next one is this comb so when it comes to detangling i lack so much patience i i i try to finger detangle I have to have a product that's going to make it easy to finger detangle. But even then, I feel like finger detangling doesn't get all the tanglies out. So I typically like to go in with this comb. And I have no idea what it is about these, like, I don't know if you guys can see these zigzaggy teeth. It's the Extreme Pro. It's a wet brush by Wet Brush. So it's a wet comb. So it's meant for you to use while your hair is wet and not completely damage it. I don't know what it is about these zigzaggies in this comb but it just gets through my hair like freaking butter, like no other. It will detangle a thin section, a thick section, a lot of hair, a little bit of hair. Like this thing is the absolute truth and it's not expensive either. It's maybe $7.99 to like $9.99, which is not expensive in my, in my opinion. For a product that's gonna work, I'll pay some money. I'll just say that. Um, and then the other one is also from Walmart. It's by Careco. So I picked this up because it reminded me of the Felicia Leatherwood brush. And if it has hair in it and you can see it, I'm sorry. I do brush my hair with this. Um, it reminds me of the Felicia, Weather Le 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 Felicia Leatherwood brush. And the whole premise behind that brush is that these pieces like this open up and bend. So when you're brushing through or detangling with this, these have flexibility and they spread out so you're not putting a lot of tension on your hair so this is the cheaper alternative it's by careco absolutely love it definitely recommend um it, it just makes detangling super easy and you don't spend hours getting through your hair and you're not ripping through your hair so absolutely love this brush cannot do without it so those are all of the products, guys, that I recommend to start a simple, easy hair care routine. I love any products by Shea Moisture for the most part. Um, so any Shea Moisture products that you have, I pretty much like those. Now the styling products by Shea Moisture, mm, questionable. But the shampoo and conditioner by Shea Moisture, I absolutely love. Um, I love the conditioners that I mentioned. Of course, I love water. You cannot do enough or say enough about water. We drink it, we bathe in it, we spread it in our hair. We love it. So that's it for the video today, guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you want to tell me what your favorite product is to shampoo, condition, treat, style your hair, something that I do not know about, uh, y'all drop it down below because I'm, uh, I'm about to re-up on everything. 
So I've got some products coming in the mail. We'll see how they work. If they don't work, hopefully, fingers crossed, they work. But I'm about to re-up on shampoo and conditioner, and I want to find something that's really good and really treats my hair. So if you have any suggestions for those, drop them down below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.